I have the harmonica that Steven Tyler played at the Indianapolis 500 National Anthem back in 2001. Really? Yep. How did he play that day? Uh, the harmonica was great. The National Anthem is actually regarded as one of the worst ever because he changed the lyrics at the end. Instead of uh, Home of the Brave, it was Home of the Indianapolis 500, and he got significantly ridiculed for it. But then again, he's a rock star, so they're sort of detached from reality generally anyway. Just a little bit. <laughs> I decided to come to the pawn shop today to sell my harmonica that Steven Tyler played, so I think it's pretty rare. It's been sitting around collecting dust in my apartment for the past 10 years, and if I can get some money for it, it might be worth it. How'd you get it? I was playing in the Purdue Band. We're the official band of the 500, and we played a little interlude for him to uh, start the national anthem. Then he played an opening number on the harmonica, and when he started singing, through the harmonica, came right to me and I caught it. Okay, it's a neat harmonica. I mean, it's a honer, right? Yep. Uh, for some reason, just like every decent harmonica in the world is made by Honer. Yep. I mean, and the amazing thing is that Aerosmith is still together after all these years, because rock bands always break up. Oh, absolutely. A lot of people say that Run DMC actually brought them back. Walk this way. They totally did. I don't think Run DMC brought them back. They could have came back anytime they wanted with just a new album. I still think they're great. I am a big Aerosmith fan. And instruments played by famous rock stars are premium items I get a premium price for. But I only go near stuff like this if the paperwork is rock solid. So what do you want to do with it? I'm looking to sell it. How much are you looking for? $5,000. Have fun. There is no possible way that you're going to prove to me that that is Steven Tyler's harmonica. That's what the article is for. Whose yeah. article? The Purdue band wrote this article. I think you're telling me a real story, but it's literally like I got Britney Spears' cell phone, and I got, you know, Jim Morrison's car keys. <laughs> you got a nice collection. It's what your story is, and it's cool, and I believe you, but I just, I can't sell it. As far as I know, you could have a piece of paper and a car full of harmonicas <laughs> and just drive around and sell them all day. Honer mass produces harmonicas like this. So without any identifying marks or a signature, I mean, there's just no way to prove that this actually belonged to Steven Tyler. I guess I made a mistake. I thought you guys liked to buy cool, rare items. I do, that I can make money off of. I mean, I recently had a guy come in here with Ronnie Van Zandt's hat. But you look inside, it's Ronnie Van Zandt's hat. There's evidence and this doesn't have any. I gotta put my reputation on the line that that's Steven Tyler's. I, I don't see it, and I definitely don't see five grand. So how much do you see? I see nothing without you being able to prove it. Um, I wish I could offer you something, but I just can't. Yeah, not a problem. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, I think they lost out on a huge profit opportunity, but you know what, now I'm just gonna take the harmonica back home and put it back uh, in a case or something and keep displaying it. Wow. This thing is nice. This is a casting out. This is like one of the holy grails of American coins. I'll do 95 and that's it. No, I don't think so. I think I'm going to take it home.